here with Blessed Jazz. Thank you so much for watching. This is my October, can you believe it's October, weight loss goals. I am so excited about this month more than any month before I've done because we are finally in our new apartment. We're in our new job. We're in our new season of life. It's exciting and um, we're settling in and I feel like I can really focus on my weight loss and my channel and um, really making healthy choices and fulfilling these goals. So I have eight goals again this month. I like to stick with that number and I'm just going to go through them real fast and tell you what they are and then um, I'll check back in with you at, at the end of the month and let you know how it went. So the first goal is to track everything. If you don't know, I'm sorry, I should have said this. I am doing Weight Watchers. I'm doing the Weight Watchers Smart Points program. I'm loving it so far. Um, the problem I am having is when I decide to go off a little bit or to have a higher point meal, I don't want to track it because I don't want to see how many points it is, and that's not good. My first goal is to track the good, the bad, and the in-between. So even if I decide to go out to eat and use my weeklies, like actually use them, don't just say, oh, I'm trying to track. Um, I don't want to know, you know, like that. We went to the Cheesecake Factory for our anniversary and I was like, oh, I don't even want to know how much points this is. I don't even want to know. And that's not good. Like I need to be accountable. If I'm going to put it in my body, if I'm going to eat it, I need to track it. So that is my number one goal. That is my number one priority. If I don't get anything else done, but that accomplished, I think I'll be successful to track every single thing I eat. Um, if I go over, I go over. If I binge and I go way over, I go way over, but to track it and to be responsible and accountable. Number two, to drink 64 ounces plus of water a day. I feel like anything more over like 80 ounces, I, I feel sick. 60, 60 to 80 ounces is where I like to stay. It is still challenging sometimes, especially if I'm really busy to get all of that in. So I want to make it a priority to every day get my 64 ounces at least in. Number three, get to 10,000 steps every day or at least six days out of the seven Sundays are kind of hard because I usually don't even wear my um, garment because I'm at church and I just don't know what looks right on my with my Sunday dress so um, six days a week I want to hit 10 sorry about that phone call right now um, I'm not like going to a gym to exercise I'm not um, walking in the morning. I don't have like a routine of that, but I am walking around the house doing videos inside when I can get the steps and just, I have a goal like every few hours to get to a certain number of steps. So, but by the end of the day, I have 10,000. That's working right now. I want to keep being motivated to get to 10,000 every day. Number four, cook dinner every night and limit eating out. This is just a fact for me. I, I know some people can eat out and stay within their points. If I eat out, I go over way over what I'm supposed to. Um, I'm not saying I can't stay within my points and I have stayed within my points, but it's more tempting and I usually eat more points than if I were to make the same thing at home. So if I, and not to mention for the budget right now, it is crucial that I cook. So cook dinner every night. Okay. We usually like to eat out once or twice a week at the most. So I really want to limit it to that and, uh, for nights that we have to, or if like we're out and about and we need to eat out, but, um, at least six nights a week, I want to cook dinner. And the seventh night, if we do go out to eat, I want to be really, really good about <laughs> finding that nutritional information before we go and tracking everything. Number six, measure myself at least once a month and write it down. And I'm talking about like um, inches, like measuring with a measuring tape. I did this a few weeks ago. So every month I want to remember, and that's why I wrote it on here, to measure myself because the scale does not show everything and the scale does not define who I am and this the waist measurements and all that doesn't either but it's another tool to kind of see if my goals and my um, new lifestyle is being is working wow, so wow. thank you good job go feed your baby okay at least he's hanging out again so um let's move on Keep a positive attitude and remember the scale doesn't define you. This goes with the other one I was just talking about. I really want to work on not letting the scale ruin <laughs> my mood or make me really happy if it says something good. The scale is a tool. That's all it is. It doesn't mean that you've done everything right. It doesn't mean that you have done everything bad. I want to try to remember that as a way, you know, to take it with a grain of salt to really focus on how I'm feeling, on my body, on um, 
other things like measurements and just overall feeling of how how I feel as opposed to um, the scale because that can be really stressful. So I'm gonna try to really tone the scale back, not weigh as often, and really not focus on it. Okay, number seven, take a multivitamin every day. I used to be really good at this. I had gummy vitamins <laughs> and I've had like regular vitamins and if I have them out, I will take them. But if I have them, like I think I ran out and then I bought some, but they're kind of put up somewhere and I just don't ever remember. So my goal is to take one every single day and to, um, it just makes me feel better when I'm taking them. I don't, I know that it's real kind of controversial. If you need them, if you're eating all of your fruits and vegetables and, and you're eating a variety of foods, your body doesn't really need a multivitamin. I feel better when I'm taking it. It kind of fills in the gaps to me anyway. So that is what my goal is for number seven. And number eight is I want to pre-cook some meals for my freezer for the nights that um, we're really busy and we're tempted to run to Taco Bell or McDonald's or get a quick pizza or whatever. If I have pre-cooked meals or even like what I really like to do is pre-cook like the main ingredient, like have a bunch of pre-cooked beef in the freezer or pre-cooked chicken so I can quickly throw a meal together. That seems, okay, he really wants to talk to me. So I'm going to finish this video out because he keeps calling me. He's probably saying I'm going to head at home for work. So um, anyway, it really, really helps me to have um, those pre-done. I could easily throw a meal together and um, it's a lot easier and healthier than eating out. So those are my eight goals for October. I'm really excited to get started this month. I hope you follow along my channel. Um, I post weekly weigh-ins. I post daily uh, what, I eat, what I eat today videos most days um, and a bunch of other stuff thrown in there in between too. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe and um, leave a comment down below and I will talk to you all next month or see me around on my channel. Bye y'all. Thank you.